NASA's Perseverance mission left behind a record of the materials that a follow-up mission might carry back to Earth as it dumped its first cache of priceless rock samples on the Martian sands. According to a statement released by NASA on Wednesday, December 21, it's an important turning point in the quest for life on Mars. According to a NASA update, the rover's contribution to the search for ancient microbial life in an old river delta will contain 10 titanium tubes that have been left behind at the site, known as Three Forks. If things go according to plan, Perseverance, or two helicopters, like the Ingenuity Mars helicopter that just completed its 37th flight and is now in flight, will transport stone tubes like this one from Jezero Crater to a waiting ship at some point in the 2030s. However, Perseverance collects twin samples at each place, and its mission calls for it to handle the delivery itself, utilizing the system of caches inside the rover. This tube is merely a backup depot. However, if required, the backup tubes that were left on the Martian surface might be picked up by the helicopters. Whatever means of delivery are used, a spaceship will send the tubes into orbit and transport the samples to an orbiter that will return the Martian samples to Earth. The historic shipment will be the first time rocks from Mars have reached Earth, with the exception of a few meteorites that have fallen upon our planet. Water, one of the essential components of life, is abundant on Mars, or at least it was in prehistoric periods. Even while Mars appears dried out and dusty today, Huge gorges, enormous icebergs, and probable underwater reserves hint that the planet was once rich in water. But ground truth, which is where perseverance comes in, is needed to determine whether there was enough to support life. Sending the samples back to Earth will give entire labs the chance to examine the Martian fragments for signs of ancient life, but a rover can only carry so many instruments. The first sample to strike the regolith was taken on January 31st from an area known as Malay and is about the size of a piece of chalk. It came from an igneous rock known as South Sheta. Scientists identified organics, a potential component of life in South Sheta, weeks before collecting the sample, which makes the location significant in and of itself. The sampling and caching equipment is located inside the belly of the car-sized Perseverance, which took roughly an hour to spit out the tube. Engineers on Earth scan the region to ensure they don't unintentionally wheel over it as Perseverance drives away. The tube fell 3 feet or 89 centimeters to a flat part of the Martian surface as intended. Although NASA had a backup plan in place, in case the tube wound up right in the sand, the photographs that were returned show that the tube was flat and well out of the way. According to agency representatives, quote, the mission has written a series of commands for Perseverance to carefully knock the tube over with part of the turret at the end of its robotic arm. A Perseverance-like rover was used by engineers to test the tube flattening process in the Mars Yard, a modified sandbox at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California where equipment is tested under circumstances resembling those on Mars. In these simulations, upright deposits occurred around 5% of the time, which is why the mission includes backup. The mission will mark two Earth years on Mars on February 18th, mere weeks after the milestone drop on January 6, 2023, the final day of Perseverance's primary mission. Based on its scientific publications and contributions like these to the sample return, the rover will continue traveling through a mission extension. According to Rick Welch, Perseverance's deputy project manager at JPL, quote, it's a nice alignment that, just as we're starting our cache, we're also closing this final chapter of the mission. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't miss out on our latest uploads. If you wish to stay up to date with the latest space updates and discoveries, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on all notifications to see more of our latest videos in the future.